Hey guys, welcome back. It is I, Dark. How are you guys doing? Uh, I'm Dark, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys a interesting little thing. So I play Minecraft Dungeons, right? And I used to mod this game, and I think I'm going to mod it today. And I'm going to show you guys how. So, first off, we got my power level, all this stuff right here. As you can see, it's really, really high. I could go higher, I just choose not to. Uh, but I could go higher. Uh, now, if I start a game, I will show you guys how this works. And if you look in the description below, I have a link to the file uh, for the table that is being used within the Cheat Engine. And I also have the Cheat Engine uh, link so you can go to the website and you can download Cheat Engine and get Cheat Engine. Uh, it is absolutely free. None of this is paid stuff. It's all free. Um, but let me just open the file up real quick. So I'm going to open up the file. Let me go to my desktop. Uh, modding software, open up this universal, yes. Now, if I go back to the game, alt tab, obviously when doing this, you want to make sure you're in windowed mode, uh, always make sure you're in windowed mode, uh, that is like the main priority, is to always make sure your settings, go to settings, go to graphics and display, and right now, I am not in windowed, so, windowed. Now, I'm going to now open it up like that, and it's going to be easier to bring it up. So, uh, first off, we're going to mod something. So, let me just quickly show you how this works real quick. So, you see this ocelot armor I got right here, correct? It looks kind of gay, not going to lie. I don't like it. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to change it. Uh, the way we do that is first, every time opening up this file, if it crashes, does any of that stuff, open the process, and then you're going to type in MIN, find Minecraft Dungeons, and click enter. Once you find Minecraft Dungeons, it's all going to work now. So I'm going to click on Minecraft Dungeons, right here. Give it some time to process. Oh, I unclicked it, my bad. Now we're going to go to Table Scripts, and Item Editor. Now from there, we're going to hover over the thing, so always keep your cheat engine like this. If I wanted to, I could toggle in impact mo a compact mode and I could bring up this part right here. Now I'm just going to untoggle that because I don't need that. Um, but if you ever need this part and you know how this part works for the values and stuff, you can do that. But um, hover over it and then we're just going to click on where it says Ocelot Armor and I said we were going to change this, didn't I? So what do you guys want to change it to? How about we do Turtle Armor? Turtle Armor, you know, I want to look like a turtle. So I now have turtle armor on, and as you can see, it did not do any revert of changes. I'm still on the ocelot armor. The way to fix that is by using your mouse, uh, by the way, this is on PC, right click right here onto the, your mouse, and hold up, that didn't work. Hover over the thing, make sure not to accidentally, so if I do this, for instance, I hover over this, and I hover over this, it's then going to, I turned this bow into turtle armor. That was my bad. So ocelot armor, we're going to click on it again. This time change it to turtle armor. That was my bad. Uh, right click. Now if you look, I just turned that bow into turtle armor. <laughs> um, so turtle armor. And uh, now I'm going to click on power level. We're going to change the power level of it. So power level we're going to change to 99999. And as you can see, it allows that. So here it goes, and uh, there's power level. Then we're going to change rarity. Way to do that is click there, click unique. Uh, gilded enchantment, we're going to make it gilded. Uh, we could choose gilded or not gilded, our choice. Uh, we're going to add lucky explorer, and this is where you change your enchants. So you can change to any enchant. I'm not going to go into all the enchants because this video is going to take forever if I do that. So I'm just going to pop on uh, swift footed, we'll say. So I'm going to put swift footed on. There we go. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to change the byte here of the level. And I'm going to change that to 8. 8 bytes. Always do that. That way I can add 9999999 and enter. Uh, I could add more 9s, but if I go too high, it will crash the game. So uh, here I am again. Here's the turtle armor. And this is the extra enchants. Be aware that any enchant in the guild you can gift to somebody. Any enchant that's not in that's not gilded, you cannot gift. So if I gift this to somebody right now, it'll be all good. You know, they'll have all these per 
uh, chance on the bottom and the one on the top. But if I go and let's say I put swift footed 999999 and then I go here and put uh, surprise gift and I change that to 99999, that is going to then only give them swift footed at a, at a uh, modded. But the other one, the surprise gift, will not be modded. It's just going to be reverted back to three, level three. So be aware of that. So if that happens, it will be reverted back to level three. Um, this stuff, if you're yourself, it does work. So I could unset this, for instance, and let's put um, let's put invisibility on it. So there's invisibility. Oh invisible enemy click OK so there's invisibility and I'm gonna add 99 to that we'll say and I'm gonna right click this re put it on and as you can see I'm now going to run around I'm invisible I also have swift footed which is making me fast so I could go faster like I said I choose not to because uh, too fast uh, but yeah that's that and then you can add different perks to it I'll let you guys look around see what you guys want to add to it see what you guys want to do and you guys can add your own little things to it on top of that uh, there's other things you can do which you can mod an artifact uh, modding artifacts is different than what you think it is so I can make it gilded and or not gilded but I cannot add enchants to it I don't think so you cannot add enchants to it, but you can make it, you know, unique and all that. Um, so I can change the power level of it if I wanted to. I can do that now. If I wanted to change my character's power and my character's level, the character level cannot be changed other than with your armor, but your power can also be changed only with your armor. Now, things like gold and emeralds and stuff like that, that is different. So if I go to table item editor and I unclick that and I go to player info, click on emeralds, uh, you see how it's a question mark and then it says scripts right here. The way we fix that is by closing out of this, go in here, we're going to then click open our character again, open that, and now you can see emeralds are at 9999. I'm just going to change my emeralds, I'm going to put it at 99. And then as you can see, the changes haven't reverted, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this again, open this again, open this inventory again, and now I'm at 99. Now, if I continue along with this, I can add things like infinite lives, infinite enchantment points, which that's that can mess with your stuff and give you negative like it did me, because uh, if you do that, then you... I, I went negative because I did some stuff. Um, you can do experience multipliers and or threat multipliers and on top of that you can do infinite arrows if you wanted to so you never run out of arrows uh, that's just some cool things you can do with this along with that you can do other things which I don't think the miscellaneous really works I've tried it multiple times I don't know what we're gonna do with that but we'll figure it out and then if you wanted to you could also do other things like for instance let's say it crashes like right now So do not click miscellaneous as miscellaneous looks like it will literally close the game and crash it uh, for this right here. Like it will literally make it so it's not responsive. So do not click miscellaneous, whatever you do. I'm going to have to close that up and reopen it. Give me one moment. Uh, there we go. Do not click miscellaneous as it will do that. Um, open that up. Here it is right here. And file open processes like I showed you minecraft dungeons enter and now if I toggle compact mode I can do different things in, in here so if you know how cheat engine works toggling compact mode is like the like thing that you would do if you're if you know how cheat engine works if you're a cheat engine expert use this uh, if you can for stuff if you're not then I won't mess around with that because you can really destroy the scripts of your game uh, on top of that, disabling all scripts will disable the entire script uh, file thing. So disabling scripts will just disable it all. So then you don't have to worry about if you crash. So if you crash, disable all the scripts, and then after you disable all the scripts, just go back to opening it up, file, process, do all that, and then you're good to go. Um, other than that, 
that is the table. Uh, if you want any information on the table, we got the developer in the table information section, who, who is inspired by, and then uh, we also got the, di the Discord server that we are in. And you guys can join that Discord server. It's up to you whether you want to join or not. It's all up to you. Uh, the official website for uh, this stuff, like Nexus Mods, Fearless Revolution, and Dungeon Collector, all these are really good for modding this game. They all have really good modding stuff for getting things like uh, modded missions and all that other stuff. And you can get some really cool stuff on there, like cosmetic items, stuff like that. Go there, check that stuff out if you can. Uh, be careful because some stuff on those websites can be fishy, but do it at your own risk. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, other than that, this is the Minecraft Dungeons 1. Uh, and this is the uh, script that we use for Cheat Engine to mod the game. And I am so glad you guys decided to stay here and watch this video. Thank you for all watching. Uh, thank you. You guys are all amazing. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I am Dark, and uh, bye!